What up, people? I'm back in the streets of Almazra. And you can tell that I got one plate armor vest and a small backpack. Yeah, we, uh, we doing that rough out here. But, not completely, though. Because you can clearly see, I got a whole tech V. And it's a manufacturer loadout called Pendulum. Yeah, and apparently it's a tank protuned. So, I don't know what shit means, but it's it feels really nice, guys. It feels nice. Weapon blueprint, as they call it in the game. Boom. Medium backpack. We're already doing better already. And that's great. That's fantastic. Now, what's the whole point of me coming out onto this deployment? Well, hold on, and you'll see. Drop for mission progress. The clock is ticking. Turn those objectives into a dead drop for mission progress. I cut this part out, but initially, I was going to go for a quad bike, but AI spotted me, threw a grenade, quad bike blew up. Then, I got into a boat and swam, crawled ashore, and now I'm in this LTV. Again, y'all didn't see it because it wasn't really all that important, but just letting you know how I got to this LTV. So you're clearly seeing, I picked up a Police Academy Server Admin Key, and luckily, Thanks to my runs with VW, I know exactly where that's at. And it's so convenient that it is nearby. So what exactly is in this room that is locked behind a key? Well, if you're new to Call of Duty DMZ, if you need a key to get into anything, you're going to find some good stuff in there. You're going to. And it just so happens I came into the right area because it's right here. Now, what's in this room? Ladies and gentlemen, what's in this room? Well, this one orange box. Okay, and this submachine gun. I guess I'll take it. A whole javelin. Remember that thing that, you know, I died with in a previous video? Yeah, I, I got it now. And I intend to keep it. Let's keep going forward, shall we? There is a very specific dead drop that I need to drop off some materials at and it's right here behind this building that's all I'm going to say into a dead drop to make faction mission progress. Ultra One, be advised that safe is bringing heat. One One, secure those objectives into a dead drop for mission progress.
I'm gonna go ahead and say that that was his buddy up there. But if it is, why didn't he rush me and kill me? I'm only one person. He had to see me pull up in this LTV. And it was just me, myself, and I. I would have killed me if I were him. But anyways, once again, moving forward, I'm trying to decide which one of these rescue hostage contracts looks the easiest. There's two of them on this side of the map that I'm looking at. Well, not this one, but on the other side of the map. And I'm like, okay, I need to drive through literally the most dangerous part of the map for me to get over there. And I need, I need to get over there before radiation spreads. And if you're saying to yourself, Jet, you got plenty of time. Yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. So as I'm driving, I notice a heavily armored AI on the roof of a house. And yeah, this is a hostage house. This is a hostage house. So if you don't know by now, I'm trying to get this mission done where I gotta extract the hostage in two minutes. And that two minutes starts as soon as I pick up the satellite phone. So I'm looking to my I'm I'm looking at that phone and it said cave complex. And I'm like, yeah, we don't want that. Because that contract, the hostage fort, is to my right. Once again, in a cave complex. We don't want that. The AI there is a uh, very, very tough indeed. So I skipped this one. And notice how I didn't buy an LTV. I had all the money, but I decided not to. Because, and once again, I don't know if you saw my previous video, but you can put the hostage in the back of a bald head LTV. Not one to fit the caliber. So, I'm keeping this one. Once again, I cut out a decent amount of gameplay because it was nothing but me shooting through windows. So, like I said, two minutes. Here's a satellite phone. Let's get it cracking. What the fuck? Hey, wrong contract. Okay, so I picked up the wrong phone, but luckily, the right phone is sitting right there. But notice how my timer keeps going. And it's uh, it's going to continue. I'm gonna let the video play out. Ha! 
help me! Please! I didn't record it, but what he's talking about is putting thermite sticks into a dead drop in on Mazra City. You see the mission right there. Five sticks in one deployment goes into that dead drop. I got it done, but I didn't record the mission because uh, I already had enough storage on my Xbox. So here's my question. The Joker, or as I call it, the Javelin. Can it down helicopters? or just uh land vehicles and i want to say land vehicles because it is a javelin i mean that's li literally what it is in my eyes but yeah that's my question anyways guys the pendulum it swings and it hits hard i like this thing and i didn't know you can continue customizing it after you get the darn manufacturer blueprint i didn't know you could do that I'll see you next time. Peace.